In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new OTO product. Go to products, add new OTO. Okay, give your OTO a name. I'm just going to give this July 27 OTO 1. Okay, product description, you can type in whatever you want. I do not want to use an image for now. OTO price. I'm going to give this. Okay, OTO price. Let's say I'm going to give this uh, $50. Payment type is one time. You can choose recurring if you want. If you if you do so, you that will then you will need to fill out a few more options. Okay, I'm going to choose one time. For this example, enter support URL. Refund period, leave it as 30 days. Click next. I'm going to choose and uh, use affiliate program. I'm going to click yes. I'm going to pay my super affiliates more commissions. Let's put this at 60%. Click add product. Okay, then you have to fill out a few more settings here as instructed by the red bar over here. So you go to page settings. Okay, it says incomplete sales page settings. Sales page settings. I'm going to choose us uh, enter sales page URL. Let's say this is uh, facebook.com just for example. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in the uh, Thank you page settings. Thank you page settings. Thank you page URL. Just going to put in uh, thank you audio one dot thank you audio one dot com. Again, this is just an example as an example. And then missing product category settings. Okay, basic settings product category. Uh, let's say. I'm in the internet marketing field once again. I'm just going to choose, for example, this. Uh, let's say this. This is an article marketing uh, course. So I'm just going to drag and drop article marketing uh, keyword research, for example, and driving traffic. Okay, and after that, I click save changes. Okay, it's not yet published. You have to click the go live button here. Read the terms and conditions. Check the box. Click publish my product now. Okay, your product has been successfully published. Okay. Now let's now you have created the OTO. Okay. Now how do you attach the how do you attach your OTO to your front end? Okay, it's very easy. Just go to products. Okay, now let's uh, let's say I want to attach that uh, July twenty seven OTO one to to my front end. Uh, let's say to this front end, July twenty seven front end. I want to attach this OTO to this front end. So I click the front end product. Okay, I will be taken to uh, the edit product page. And then you go to the one time offer tab and click add new. Okay, the OTO name. This is for your own internal use only so that you can easily identify this OTO in this funnel. Customers will not see this. Okay, let's just give this an OTO1 or whatever name you want. Okay, and then you choose your product. Okay, we have created a July 37 OTO one time. July 27 OTO one one time means that it's a one time payment. If it's a recurring payment, it will say recurring. Okay, and then you can edit or view details. Okay, uh, see the price will automatically show up here. It's uh it's go it, sh it shows up here whatever you have chosen to put the price over here. You can edit it, edit the details if you want. Uh, I'm I'm fine with that. So I just need to scroll down. Okay, 
if you want to add additional discount for this OTO product, you can set the discount below. Okay, let's say that uh, you can add additional discount by dollars or by percentage. I'm going to leave this as it is. So uh, next thing is, do you want to skip this OTO if the customer has already bought this product? Yes or no, you can choose. I recommend you choose yes if the customer has already bought the product. It's, it's pretty much useless to show him or her the same uh, to your product okay and then you save and close there you go you have your OTO one over here let's say you want to add another OTO okay let's say you have you want to add another OTO this is still uh, just click add new okay okay bear in mind that this is still inactive you, you need to drag this one to the from the inactive OTO to the active OTO uh, area here so you just click this and drag it here okay there you go and if you want to create another OTO you need to go all the steps that we have discussed earlier add new OTO now let's say that you have already created another OTO and you just want to add into this funnel you want to add into this July 27 front-end product okay no, uh, no problem just click add new Okay, OTO name, you give this a name, for example, OTO2. Okay, and then let's say that I want to attach this OTO2. Uh, okay, let's say I want to attach this product. Okay, and it will show up the price here, will be shown for this product. You can edit and view the details. I'm going to leave the price at as it, as it is right now. Okay, I'm going to choose yes, I save and close. Okay, it will show up here as the inactive OTO. I just need to drag this and drop it to here. Okay, so this is OTO1 and this is OTO2. It's very, very simple. Once you have done that, remember to click Save Changes. Okay, and you are done. So the this is the July 27 front end, the OTO, there are two OTOs, which is this one and this one. Okay, at any time you want to edit the OTO, no problem. You can just click this one and the light box will show up. Okay, and if you want to rearrange the OTO, no problem. You can just drag this one. Or you can drag again. Or you want to remove from the active OTO, no problem. Drag it to the inactive OTO column. And remember to always save your changes. Okay, 